The idea for our project was inspired when Emu's mom was gardening and found nodules in the roots of her pea plants. Unsure of what the nodules were, Emer asked her science teacher, who told her Rhizobia bacteria lived in the nodules. We found out about nitrogen-fixing bacteria, and we were inspired to experiment with this bacteria to try and speed up the germination rate of crops such as barley, wheat and oats. Then the hard work began. We began by sourcing and building our apparatus. We built a transfer chamber and set up a lab in Kira's spare bedroom. Using polystyrene fish boxes and thermostats, we designed our own incubators, bioreactor and sugar tank. We also sourced the seeds that we would use for our experiment. Before starting our experiments, we visited University College Cork, where we were trained in aseptic technique. ready to start our experiments. We designed our experimental method and spent many hours sterilizing seeds, making our bacterial solutions and inoculating our seeds. We placed our seeds in the incubators and they were checked every night to see if they had germinated. Or every six hours, which meant getting up at 6 a.m. Results were put into an Excel spreadsheet and we statistically analysed our data for trends and comparisons. We wanted to know what was happening inside our seeds. So we visited Megazyme where we tested for alpha amylase levels and maltose. After this, we conducted small scale field trials. This was where treated seeds were grown in small growing pots in a greenhouse. After growing for two weeks, we harvested the young crops. Length was measured and crops were dried in order to remove moisture before being weighed. We then ran a large scale field trial where bacteria solution was mixed with a carrier and applied to the seeds. We wanted to find a way to treat the seeds commercially. The treatments were bacteria with the carrier sawdust, sodium polyacrylate or peat dust and aqueous culture. Seeds were sown in large fish boxes and grown in Kira's garden for a period of six weeks. After six weeks, we harvested the crops. They were then dried to remove moisture and weighed to find dry mass. After 11 months, more than 10,000 seeds and 120,000 manual readings, we had some interesting results. Using two different strains of Rhizobia bacteria, we sped up the germination rate of barley and oats by 50%. After growing the crops, we found a dry mass increase of 70% in some cases. All over the world, food supplies are being stretched to the limit. Food security is becoming an increasing problem with many causes, one being failed crops. There are many complex and different steps that need to be taken in order to reduce this ever-growing problem. It is our hope that increased germination rate and dry mass yield will help relieve some of the problems involving crop growth. After all, there is no one giant step that does it. It's a lot of little steps. <laughs>